Michael. Yes. This is going to take. It's the fortunes of all. That's it. Shane McCormick, the one of the Galway goal scorers, fouled Sinead Cassidy. Derry with a free in. Derry have won the junior title four times, but they have never won the intermediate All Ireland. Ronnie McGoldrick firing that in, and a great catch in there, brilliant catch. Sent back by McGoldrick, Karen Kielt now out for it for Derry. Galway under significant pressure, and Kielt takes her score. Yet another point for Derry, and a fifth of the afternoon for Karen Kielt, 2-11, 2, -11, 2 -7. Yeah, it's a good score, Kielt can back up, that over there, great catch inside, like, and just pressure the ball defence, looking, looking to get away with just a point. Derry starting the second half as they did the first. Brilliant running from Sinead Cassidy. The Derry vice captain has a, a free player in the corner who's Theresa McElroy. McElroy unable to get to that though. Ailish O'Reilly. Pressure put on her as she tries to pick it. Theresa McElroy in again. And McElroy has it for Derry. Under pressure from Sarah Noon. Too many steps with it though. All the management there are trying to try yeah. to work out their heads what they're going to do because they've kind of since it came out a bit flat after half time, ball hasn't gone up to the forwards at all and want to get a score to stay in this game. Derry are on top again. Much the same pattern as the first half. Derry leading by four. Maeve McGoldrick. Getting good distance on that again. Pressure on the Galway full back line. Sarah Noon sweeping back from the centre half back position. Emma Kilkelly. Scored four points in the first half, Kilkelly. Rachel Monaghan has taken over the free-taking duties from her, and Monaghan will have another go and is coming out from the full forward position to take this free closer to the 65-metre line than the 45-metre line. This is an important free for Rachel Monaghan and for Galway. Yeah, it's a brave decision, right, because Emma Kilkelly was taking the first half, and Rachel has got one the second half, and she's out of here, but she has a good drive in the ball. She certainly gave that absolutely everything. It seemed the wind died down, but that one has gone wide, and it's Galway's first wide of the game in the tenth minute of the second half. Be dressing to see where this puck out comes to. Galway, they've had their consultation with Tony Ward and his selectors, and they are going to make a change. Avian Kenny will be in. That one went quite comfortably to halfway. Theresa McElroy operating on the wing and leaving Lorraine Farrell for dead. Real possibilities for Derry here, she should score, but dropping it short. Theresa McElroy straight into the left hand of Roisin Kelnan, the Galway goalkeeper. Here's Clodagh McGrath. And that pressing from the Derry forwards. Katrina Cormican letting the ball do the work. Rachel Monaghan is the Galway full forward going across with Ife Nikoshida to try and get that, but Nikoshida and Monaghan having quite a physical battle to get the ball. It'll come straight back at them, Katrina Cormican of Galway. Hooped at the vital moment, it seemed as she had enough space from Sinead Cassidy, but it wasn't to be. Orla Curtin trying to pick it, referee's whistle sounds free into Galway, and this has just got to go over. Yeah, Another scoring is. opportunity for Galway. Yeah, it's an awkward angle, but I'd say she's, she's well, she's well she's quite the score there from there, Richard Manhattan. Go and need this, this to stay in it to stay in the game like just that four down. In actual fact, Emma Kilkenny has gone over it as well, so there's a bit of there's a bit of indecision who's going to take it. That's Avian Kenny from Sarsfields. And Emma Kilkenny is gonna take this. Tucking it as she does off her left side. I think it's Elaine O'Sullivan, by the way, 15, who has gone off. Derry full back line under pressure. Goal chance for Galway and buried by Deirdre Burke. Yeah, vital score at a vital time, and Deirdre Burke comes up with the goal for Galway. Yeah, you need a bit of look there. The previous hit fairly soft, and two Derry defenders got in a tangle, both go up together. Knock it back here, no better woman than Deirdre Burke to stick in the back net, and Galway back in the game. They are back in business, Galway. At the Derry full back line at times, you know, all the way through this championship, they've been in superb form, just 31 points conceded coming in today, but at times they have looked vulnerable, haven't they? And Deirdre Burke 
expose that. That's right, Dara. That's one that Elfila should have blocked. First of all, the free was hit kind of short. It didn't go that well at all. And there was three of them underneath it. They blocked the back out of the other book. And once she got the chance at that, she wasn't going to miss that. So Galway right back in it again. And Maria Mooney receiving some treatment, the Derry substitute. So just a point between them. John A. Mullen out offering some advice to some of his Derry players. His first full year in charge of this Derry team. Tony Ward took over at the end of last year. Manages the seniors as well. A reminder, you can enjoy the best of today's action with Des Cattle and his panel tonight on the Sunday game at half past nine on RT2. Here come Galway, Ailish O'Reilly getting away from Derry defenders, turned back into trouble. Maeve McGoldrick was there with her, and McGoldrick doing well for Derry and fouled on the way out too. Good defensive work there. They're very half back, and you see, even when, they get, when, they're, when they're beaten for pace going in, they still get back and do a lot of work. You'd have to say they're half back, the midfielder, keep them in this game. Maybe McGoldrick, we saw she was out taking her time over the free. She may have a picked up a knock in that last passage of play and doesn't look at all happy and has just stopped running at the moment. Maeve McGoldrick, Derry may have to make a change, McGoldrick may have to come off, but Galway attacking with Avin Kenny, their substitute, and that has gone out of play, it'll be a Derry line ball. Yeah, well spotted, Derry, she's actually gone down here, there's something wrong with her. Like, she's either, she's either very hot or winded, but like, she's gone down, and the ref hasn't seen it yet. She's up now. May just be winded, actually, because she got through a serious amount of work in winning the free for her team in the first place, uh, taking the ball off Ailish O'Reilly. But we'll keep an eye on Maeve McGoldrick and see if she recovers sufficiently. And Galway going through a decent spell at the moment, and Ailish O'Reilly once again leading the charge. Brilliant block down by Maeve McGoldrick, who has semi-recovered. She stopped running again as Deirdre Burke, the goal scorer, plays the ball forward. And here come Galway with Katrina Cormick at scored a goal in the first half. Now Aideen Mullen. Mullen pops the ball out to her right, Aileen McCusker there, but Orla Curtin as the Galway forwards again get the better of the Derry defence, and Curtin fires that one over. Several mistakes in the Derry defence, just let Galway in, and Galway are putting them under pressure. 3-8 to 2-11. Yeah, even ball game now, we'll have some game now, it's going to pick up again, we'll flat for a while, but Galway kind of back in the ascendancy at the moment, but it's anyone's game because like, every time Derry get the ball up, and that's a right good puck out again, reach a midfield easy. Derry need to get a break around midfield, this Cormac one is driving in every ball at the moment. Sides level in the All-Ireland Intermediate Final for the third time. Here come Galway again, the Derry defence, nobody's home, Orla Curtin just pushing that across, Rachel Monaghan, this is a really great spell for Galway as they come in again looking for another point, Emma Kilkelly has got it, and Galway go in front. Yeah, probably for the first time in the game, they've, they've edged in front, like, and they're in, they're in the driving seat at the moment, they're well on top, they really need to get a puck out and get the ball up the field. Galway in front in the All-Ireland Final. I think at times during the first half, Derry were close to ten points up, and Derry now making a substitution. And the player going off is Una Bradley, and coming on is Keelan Bradley. Galway's only defeat this year. They drew against Tipperary in the group stages of the championship when both teams have qualified for the last four, but their only defeat was against Derry. Derry with a 100% record. If they win, they go up to senior for 2013. Galway have a free foul against Karen Kielt. There's what happened. Yeah, she lost her balance and kind of ra ra ran into the, the Galway number, Sarah Newman, and I suppose it's the right call. It's just, just an accident, really. side behind John Mullen of Derry for the first time in this All-Ireland Final and uh, well, he's 
out on the pitch, trying to G up his players. They had a, a walk around Croke Park yesterday afternoon, like Galway, several of the Derry starting 15 had never played here before, some of them, one or two at least, had never actually been in Croke Park before, so a big day, huge occasion for everybody concerned, and Galway have fought their way back and lead for the first time in the All-Ireland Final, and we're in the 18th minute of the second half. Tara Kenny knocking that forward, Deirdre Burke, who's meant to be marking Deirdre Burke at the moment, great scoring opportunity, and O'Kane was way out off her line, didn't manage to clear it sufficiently well, pressure again on the Derry full back line, scrappy phase of play as nobody is able to claim the ball. Avin Kenny was down with it, and Derry just happy to move the ball away from the danger area. Gronja McNichol, their midfielder, coming across, and the relieving clearance finally takes the pressure off the Derry defence, and now they can launch an attack of their own. Gronja McGoldrick, the Derry captain, will she get her hands on the Jack McGrath Cup? She's got a free in. And a chance for Derry, even with this tricky wind, to draw level. Yeah, the breeze is twisted around the area. I think it's, it's actually with Galway at the moment. It's, it's kind of a whirlwind, like it's just twisted, so it's going from it's into the hill 16 in at the moment. Galway on top, and Deirdre Burke there is kind of travelling out midfield. She's able to kind of move around the place. She's picked corner forward, but she's moving around. There's not anyone actually picking her up at times, so you know she should be tapping in balls over the bar and stretching, stretching Galway's lead. Derry haven't scored since the 11th minute of the second half. Karen Keels, the player with the responsibility, and Keels has tucked it wide. Wide number six. Derry are going to make another change. Attract to McPeak from Lavi is going to come in. And she is replacing Shauna Quinn in the half forward line. Derry have used three of their five subs. Galway leading by one. 11 minutes to go. A great catch by Katrina Cormican, who has done extremely well since coming in. Finds Deirdre Burke with the precise hand pass, but really good play from Maeve McGoldrick of Derry, winning the ball back for the Ulster team. Down from Ulster, lost the Premier Junior final to Meath earlier on here today. That match threw in us at midday. The senior final between Cork and Wexford throws in at four. You can see it live here on RTE2 television. But a lot of camogie still to be played in this intermediate final. Galway have a lead by a point. Rachel Monaghan has made an impression, certainly, and a point to the management since she came in. But just as I say that, she loses the ball to Eilish Nikostula. The centre-back gets Derry moving forward again. Aileen McCusker with a huge ball way up in the air. The wind was certainly helping that one. Sarah Noon back. Brilliant centre-back play, sweeping up Sarah Noon. Deirdre Burke has been a very important link in the second half between the Galway backs and the Galway forwards, and here she goes, the goal scorer in the second half, just slightly blocked as she played the ball forward. Across is Ifeni Kostela. Katrina Cormican for Galway. Her hurl seemed to be held just at the vital time. Here's Katrina Cormican. Tops the ball left to Deirdre Burke. Burke made good contact with it, but Claire O'Kane is extremely good in the air. Aideen Mullen. Fouled. And that pressure that time from the Galway forwards, just a little too intense for the referee's liking. Yeah, Sarah Noon is playing right rock solid there, centre back for, for Galway. Even her football skills have been interested in Deirdre Burke since she kind of moved out around the mid, she's picking up a lot of ball as well. Into a right coming into it. Galway need to tack on a few more scores to, like, to stretch their lead. Maria Breheny going off and being replaced by Rebecca Henley. Yeah, Rebecca Henley would have been a top uh, under age hour and did a, did a cruciate ligament. She'd be, she'd be a top player just back, for, just back from getting that operation really. Yeah, there's Maeve McGoldrick. Remember, we said that we thought she may have had an issue earlier in the second half, and she's receiving treatment 